Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adina, aka Mistress underscore Glam Fairy, and I'm here with a product review. So I, I swear it's always something going on either behind me or to my right. One moment. That's better. So let's try this again. So I'm here with a product review. I was contacted by All Around Cosmetics. Um, they are not a new company and I've had some of these products for a while now. Um, the reason that I did not do my review or really post pictures with looks from the products or tag them is because they just started a new Instagram. So the old Instagram that they had, I'm not certain what happened. Um, I think they couldn't get back into the account for some reason, but they started a brand new Instagram page. I will link that Instagram page to my video. Um, and if you go on the link from that video, you will go directly to their website. So like I said, the name of the brand is All Aurel. It's a black owned company, uh, black owned and operated. Um, they have been in business for quite some time. Um, the products that they sent me, they gave me my choice of items. They told me to pick some items, which I did, which was really fun for me because I got a chance to shop. I did it all online, and so it was sent to me. Um, I guess I should have kept the box that it came in, but it was in a box and bubble wrapped, and um, the items come in pretty packaging. Um, for example, this is the box for their gold shimmer powder. And this is it's a, like a mauve colored box with their little um, Calla Lily logo at the top. And I, I'm not a big person for keeping packaging. That's just not me. Um, I toss packaging. I hate paper. People who used to work with me know I didn't like paper. I don't like paper, cardboard around. I don't like it. When I moved, I got rid of the boxes so fast people were asking me for the boxes I was like you should have told me because that stuff is gone and this is a <laughs> sorry this is how the packaging for the lipsticks look so um all together I got two blush compacts which are both duos I selected two of their cream to powder foundations now um the thing about that is uh, I selected it from the website and um, I picked the wrong colors. So I picked one that was too dark and one which was a little too red for me. I have kind of like a green undertone. However, I'm not going to go into that yet. I'm going to try to stay on point and talk about what at first I got. I picked out uh, Island Breeze Eyeshadow Quad and I picked out five lipsticks and one lip conditioner. So um, for this look, I used some of these products. And so they'll be on this video. You'll see the look for this video. Um, and you'll see which of the products I used. And um, But right now, I would like to um, swatch like the lipsticks. And, sh oh, and I also got this <laughs> of the gold powder. I forgot to show you that. So the gold powder comes in this loose powder container right here and again it has the all around um, logo on it with the calla lily and then it says it's the gold shimmer powder so starting with the blushes can i just say oh my goodness they are so pigmented and smooth um the thing is i'm not a real good swatching type of person because i would have to swatch on this arm and that's awkward for me because I'm left, I'm right-handed and I have to, I'm just going to do the best I can. So I'm going to get, do some swatches of the, this is the Golden Apricot and Terrac Terracotta slash Golden Apricot Cheek Color Duo. So this is, I really don't like doing this on my, um, on this hand. These are the two colors as I swatch them on my finger and then I'll just put them right here. And you can see what they look like. Um, they're not chalky. They go on very smoothly. Um, as you all know, I have this thing about smell. So 
no smell. This uh, says mm, it doesn't list fragrance as one of the ingredients, which is good for me because you know how I feel about smells. So let me try and get this off of my fingers. Wasn't prepared for that, so get that off of my fingers, and then let's try the next palette, which is the Tantalizing Plum and Purple Passion. So I've used this one quite a few times, as you can tell. This is my favorite. This is my baby. I use it for eyeshadow because it's so pigmented, and I've also used it as blush. Um, I can't even tell you how much I love this particular duo. This ah, is... Woo, child. Okay, so I've cleaned off my fingers and I'm going to swatch those. And here it is swatched on my fingers. And then I'll do the same thing, put it on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like. And my finger is still kind of wet from where I cleaned off from the um, first swatch. So I'm not doing a good job with this. And now I've just made my blush wet, which I don't like. So these are the two colors right here. I'm not starting this video over. You all already know that I go for it as I'm doing it and bloopers and all. However it turns out, that's how it turns out. So those are the four colors from the two blush duos. Okay. Uh, like I said, the blushes are super duper pigmented at the Tantalizing Plum Purple Passion is my favorite. I've also used the um, cheek color to mattify some of my lipsticks. So, oh, I got to show you this again because I, this is just my baby right here. The colors are really incredible. I just really love this duo. It's just, uh, I only used the one with the terracotta and golden apricot once, and that was for today's look. I found out today that I should have tapped off the color because it was a lot of color, and you probably see my reaction on the video. Okay, next I'll show you the two cream to powder foundations that I've selected. Now, this is the Brandy Lily, and most of the foundations are either brandied or gilded. Um, I believe like the gilded may, because I didn't check, you can find that out on your own. Sorry, I'm just doing the review. Um, the gilded, I believe, is more red tone, and the brandied, I believe, is more uh, cool tone. So um, this is warm tone and cool tone. So cool tone is the brandied line. It's all one line of foundations. However, the ones that have brandied before their names seem to be the cool tone. So this is Brandied Lily, which I said was a little too dark for me, but um, it doesn't have that red undertone, say, as the Gilded Daffodil does. And this is the Gilded Daffodil. And what I did was, I what I do now with it is I mix it with one of my other foundations and I found that this was really good foundation for me to use over the summer because here in Georgia it is super duper hot and it didn't melt down uh, especially because I have a some oil, uh, oily skin um, I'll say it lasts 12 hours that's my opinion um, after that I can't say if it's because of my skin composition you know with having a, like a little oilier skin and plus the other products that I put along with it may affect its longevity but for me it lasted a little more than 12 hours because I leave for work at say a uh, quarter to seven 10 minutes to seven and I get home at around 6 15 um, and the makeup is still pretty much in place but in the meantime I started sweating and all sorts of things so it does have good longevity um, I did not select the loose powder that goes along with these because I'm not a real loose powder type of person and this is a cream to powder foundation so I thought that that would be overkill however uh hindsight being 2020 maybe I should have selected it so I could have used the two pr products in conjunction with each other and um, then I could have seen it maybe if that would have helped with it lasting longer I don't know I have enough powders and I just did with them letting me select my own products that's not what I wanted I wanted to try the foundations which I did and I'm pleased with them but I didn't want it powder because I'm not going to use it so what was the purpose of me getting it so that was the cream to powder foundation 
Um, another item that I selected was the gold shrimp. Sh I hate when I can't talk. The gold shimmer powder. Gold shimmer powder. This is such a pretty luxury powder. Um, it comes in the loose powder um, container. It says iridescent powder, radiant in powder, radiance in powder, dust all over face, delicate decolletage and uh, body for an emulate em why am I even trying to read what the heck is wrong with me today I'm a good reader and I don't know why I can't get my act together so I'm just going to tell you this stuff is the bomb um, here is a little swatch of it on my fingers and then I'm just going to put that right here on my arm so you can see how shimmery that is it's not big gold flecks of color they are very very fine i think it's really pretty um i love the highlight that it did i applied it with a fan brush but i think next time i'm going to try applying it with just my fingers just to see what the difference would be uh for the application um you get one ounce in this container which is a lot a lot of product um it's super fine milled. It's really pretty. I'm really happy with this. Okay, so moving on to the lipsticks. Now, I like I said, I got five lipsticks and one lip conditioner. So the lip conditioner doesn't have any color to it. I'm just going to take all the lids off right now. The lip conditioner does not have color to it. Oh, and you know what? It was one other thing I forgot that I got, and I got to tell you guys about it because... This is going to be life-changing, I believe, for me, as far as lipstick is concerned. Um, my opinion about the packaging is super-duper sleek. If, it's, if you're one of those people that wants products because of the packaging, this may not be the item for you. And the reason I'm saying that is because some people just love to take the pictures of their products. I like a mixture of both. Um, I can, like, in my opinion, MAC... Pictures is the only reason they get mad play is because it's matte. The products are in very sleek, minimalistic packaging, and that's what this is to me. It has the their logo on the front, and it has a huge mirror on the inside. And the color payoff, in my opinion, is really good. Um, yeah, I believe you should use it with a base, not because it's um, ashy or powdery, but because that will make it more vibrant. If you know me, I'm a color fiend, so I'm going to get the most color payoff that I can. Um, back to the lipstick. Sorry that I got all over the place. I already have this swatch on my hand because it's the swatch that I displayed on the video. So this is Sheer Pumpkin, and it is a sheer color, and it's a more orange color. It's really pretty, and that's what I'm wearing right now. And I did wear it with a lip liner that is by another company. I'm not going to mention it because this is not their segment. Uh, the next color that I have, I'm not even going to put, put that one on yet. Um, oh, and I did want to show you the lip conditioner. It's clear, zero color. I've been putting that on before I apply my lipsticks in the morning. Um, and I feel that it makes my lips nice and smooth. Um... Next color I'm going to show you is Mulberry. This is it in the packaging. And then I'm going to swatch it right next to... And now this one I haven't used. I'm going to swatch that one right next to the Sheer Pumpkin. This is a brown berry color. Uh, that was two swipes. I went, over, went two passes with this color. Uh, went on very smoothly. A lot of color payoff in that packaging. The next one I'm going to show you is, what is that? Passionate Plum. This is it in the package. Swatch that right next to Mulberry. If my bones weren't in the way. Real shimmery color. It has a frost to it. Not real shimmery, but it has a frost to it. Um... I think it's a beautiful color. I can't wait to try this one. I haven't tried this one yet. The only one that I had used was the one that I will swatch for you next, which is the color purple. Um, I think that this is just like 
a beautiful, beautiful color. And you'll the reason I wanted to swatch it next to uh, passionate purple, per, passionate plum, passionate plum was so that you could see the difference in the colors because this one has more of a purple tinge to it. Uh, it is has it is kind of pinky colored, but it's a really beautiful color on. I think that this is one of those um, colors that any complexion can wear. Um, the last one I'm going to show you is called Wisteria. This this color this one is an odd color to me. And I can't wait to play with it. I do want to do it with a liner. It's a real iridescent kind of color. I'm trying to build it up because um, I want you to really be able to see how iridescent that is. It catches a lot of color spectrum. I think it's just a gorgeous color. I'm really loving these lipsticks. They're not matte. If you do want to mattify them, you can do like I did. I applied some of the cheek color to mattify them. Um, I do have one more item from this line. I don't know what I did with it. I'm like going crazy now because I wish I knew what I did with that. I'm going to find it. can't find it <laughs> I know I have it I just saw it the other day anyway I'm not gonna let this bother me okay so back to all around um, cosmetics um, I am very pleased with the brand um, although they are black owned and operated they also cater their products to all women of any coloring so um, if you are looking for a high quality sleek design compacts uh, good pigmentation smooth application brand um, this is one that I would say is really great um, I gave them my review um, and they gave me a discount code so if you would like to purchase from All Around Cosmetics, again, the link will be for to the Instagram page will be on my description. Description, and I'm really mad that I can't find that lip gloss. I have no idea where it is. I have no clue. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> in the description, it'll have Glam Ten. That is my discount code. So if you go to their website, um, again, click on it from the Instagram page because they're apparently doing work on the other allarailcosmetics.com. So you need to go through the Instagram link. That is what I will have in my description. Um, and Glam 10, I'll put that right here. Glam 10. So Glam 10 and... Um, yeah, all the real cosmetics. I'm happy with it. Um, I had another lip gloss. I'm going to find it. I just really demolished my vanity because I know I had it. Ah, I can't. I can't. I just can't. Okay, so I'm really happy with this look. The majority of the products that I use were from this cosmetic line. So if you have any questions and you want to ask me, um, please let me know what you think about this video. Please thumbs up. Please give me thumbs up. And um, leave me any comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, tell me what you, um, if you have any questions, again, let me know. I want to know. I like hearing from you. I, and I respond back. It may take me a day or two to get to it, but I respond back. If you want a quick, a quicker response, go to my Mistress Glam Fairy on Instagram. Mistress underscore Glam Fairy. I talk about that all the time. That underscore. So, um, oh, as a matter of fact, it's all around underscore official. I love underscore. I love it. It's just, oh, underscore. Allarell underscore official on Instagram. So um, that's it for my review. I'm happy with it. Mad that I can't find this lip gloss. I'm about to turn my room upside down. Yeah, I think I'll turn the room upside down. Sounds like a good idea to me. <sighs> be beautiful and be good. Bye.